What's up everyone, Christopher Walker here. Uh, I just want to get into a bit of detail today about um, an estrogen flushing protocol. So this basically, if you have excess estrogen, uh, this will be the most effective way, the single most effective way to flush out that excess estrogen and make sure that your body um, actually you know, stops producing so much and or stop storing so much estrogen. See, the, the part of the issue is that when you run into problems with excess estrogen, uh, your thyroid stops functioning properly. It feeds back into this stress feedback loop with cortisol, increasing cortisol, which increases more estrogen, etc. That that feedback loop is very dangerous to get caught in. Um, you start you're going to start accumulating excess body fat. You're going to have an increase in prolactin. Um, start having for guys, you're going to have gyno, um, the man boob issues. There's going to be a lot of fat storage around you know the sides of the abdomen and the breasts. Um, it's basically a when in excess it's a feminizing hormone so especially when you have low levels of, of protective hormones um, that are gonna help you know like the androgens are gonna help combat it you know the ratio of those things is really important a lot of guys however nowadays due to certain things uh, like just excessive exposure to estrogenics in the environment in uh, the massive amount of plastics that are everywhere from our clothes to you know the, the containers for the foods that we eat and drink as well as um, even estrogens in foods, you know, the estrogenic load on men these days is huge. So follow this four step approach. This is how you're going to be able to flush out excess estrogen and keep it in control. So you're gonna feel way better when you do this four step ex excess estrogen flush approach. All right, first step is to methylate. So you have excess estrogen in your system, you have to methylate it. Basically, using things like choline and betaine are going to methylate it and help it to pass out. And the, um, I mean, choline and betaine in and of themselves are actually extremely good supplements for you to use. Um, it, the betaine is also going to lead to a, a large uh, increase in beneficial stomach acid. A lot of really great benefits of betaine. Um, choline, you're going to, choline is one of those things when you take it and you actually really notice also the effect on your brain, the positive effect on your brain, you're going to feel more focused, more sharp. However, that's not what we're going for here. Those are just secondary benefits. These two things also methylate estrogen in your system. It's going to help you get rid of that excess estrogen. Now, the second thing is you got to get rid of the storage facilities for this estrogen. Where is this estrogen, where is it being stored? So it's being stored in your body fat. It's being stored in the excess body fat. Typically for guys, for example, um, anything above really a 15% body fat is considered unhealthy. And, but that's really when you're gonna see a large rise in the storage of this ex excess estrogen in that fat tissue. And you can also really notice it, um, you know, where the, that fat tissue is being stored. Like I mentioned, um, around the abdomen and in kind of the upper chest and kind of the breast area. Um, also in the thighs and the hips. If you have uh, excess body fat in those areas, get rid of it. You'll get rid of the, the estrogen in the process and you're gonna just look and feel better. You know, I'm sure someone might argue against this, but I mean, just lose the fat, you're gonna feel and look better. It, it, it's, it's not that hard. Um, the third thing, supplement with or up the dietary intake of the following three vitamins. You wanna increase your intake of vitamin A, K2, and D. All these things are gonna increase androgen production. Also, um, vitamin A has been shown to uh, massively, you know, very quickly increase the availability of androgen receptors in key tissue. So there's more binding sites for those androgens. So these things are really critical, but they're also going to help really control and regulate the production of estrogen. Um, th those are key. The fourth and final part of this protocol is to look around your environment and actually reduce your exposure to the estrogenics that you're exposed to. So these can come um, in the form of foods that you're eating that are high in estrogens or uh, estrogens in your environment that you are being, you know, you're coming into contact with. That's actually just getting in your body. Uh, this, this could be anything from, you know, the chemicals that are in a lot of uh, soaps and body washes and shampoos and that sort of stuff that's being absorbed through the skin, uh, all the way down to, you know, TV dinners and heating up microwave dinners and plastic, cheap plastic containers that's soaking into your food and then you're eating it. Um, just there's, this stuff is everywhere. Uh, for a comprehensive view on that, I, I recommend reading the book Estro Generation. There's, uh, he goes into a lot of detail about all the 
you know, basically in that one book, you can find all the sources of, of this excess estrogen in your life and um, how to avoid it. So there you have it. That is the four step approach to controlling the excess estrogen and flushing it out of your system and then making sure it doesn't come back. So hopefully this was helpful. Like this video if you like it. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel because we're going to be going hard on some, some good topics to uh, improve your health. And I'll see you on the next video.